Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. A few weeks ago, all the bridge kits necessary for a client's layout build arrived, and today I'm going to get one of those built up. So let's head over to my work table and take a look at what I have. Here are most of the bridges needed for this railroad build. There are six large Walters kits and a pile of micro-engineering trestle kits. I'm going to start with this double track arched Pratt truss bridge, mainly because that is the most straightforward of the three large bridge constructions on this layout. I don't suppose it will take very long because the Walthers bridge kits that I've assembled in the past have generally gone together pretty easily. So let's just head over to my workbench and get to work. Well, I've opened up the box and sorted out all the pieces. This is what I need for step one the main truss sides, and this is the rest of it. This contains all these small bracing pieces and the floor system. But my first impressions of this kit is that it meets all expectations. I think it will be quite easy to put together. Well, I've been at it for a while now. I have one of the side main trusses partially assembled, and I'm working on the other one. Here is one end of it, and the other end is still in two halves. At the moment I'm still pretty impressed with the kit. The sides fit together perfectly and so far I've found very few imperfections. The instructions do give a warning about making sure you get them the right way around but frankly I don't see how anyone can get it wrong because of the design of the kit. And I also really like that they made it so that each half of the truss has a short and a long piece so they overlap by one bay and splice each other in the middle. So this truss here that I already started on is already pretty sturdy, even though I've only got the first four pieces on. I have elected to not install the top plates just yet because there's no positive location. And if I get it off center by the slightest amount, it might notice later. So I'm gonna wait until I've got the end pieces on and then just work from the ends towards the middle. That way I know it'll be symmetrical. So I'm gonna put those pieces aside for now and install them later in the process. Well, I now have the two main trusses complete. I had to go back on my plans to install these pieces up the ends before the top because they are molded as part of the arch. So I just cut one from a sprue, held it temporarily in place and used it to gauge where this one started. And I ended up perfect at the other end as well. So I needn't have worried. When it comes to the floor on this kit, it's built from a nice strong grid of plastic beams with loads of half lap joints and fits very well together. It's not glued to the side trusses at this point. The trick is to just use those as a guide to make sure that everything is both square and straight. You'll notice that I've got a framing square around it and some weights to hold it in alignment. And I've just taken a break to give the solver time to set up a little bit. It should be ready to work on again now. Well I've now installed the 14 pieces of zigzag bracing in the bottom. You can see them. The large X braces are not yet installed. Not quite sure how to do those. I was hoping I could assemble the whole lot dry and then just add solvent to glue it all together. But I'm not sure whether I can get that many pieces held together. I might just have to glue the three main sub-assemblies together and then hope that I can get those X braces in from the bottom. I'm going to do some experimentation to see if that's going to work because that'll probably be the easiest way. Well I've just done a dry assembly and it does work. These will go in quite easily just by inserting one side and then twisting the other two legs gently with a pair of tweezers. So I'm going to leave these off for now and I will come back and install those once the rest of the bridge is assembled. Well, apart from painting and installing the shoes, that bridge is now complete. It went together very well indeed, and I'm very happy with it. I think the customer will be too. This concludes the first bridge build. I'm very happy with the way this bridge turned out. Most of the kits I have purchased from Walthers have been very good. 
and this one I think it even exceeded expectations. And I have to say that whoever created the masters for that kit really is a master of his trade. I can't recommend it highly enough. It went together pretty much without trouble. The only awkward bit I found was installing the X bracing along the top right at the very end. And that was just because access was difficult. I haven't painted it yet. I'm going to do that later. I think what I'll do is get all the bridges put together and then I'll paint them all as one batch. It'll probably save quite a bit of time that way. And throughout the day I've had my time-lapse camera set up on my tripod above the workbench. I have not yet had a look at that video, but hopefully it came out okay and I'm going to release that as well. So anyway, that is all for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful, and hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching and bye for now.